Fumbling the ball, a common English phrase explained. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, fumble the ball. This expression is not just about sports. It's a metaphor used in various contexts. Let's explore what it means and how you can use it in your everyday English conversations. Fumble the ball originates from American football, where a player accidentally loses control of the football during play. This action often leads to a missed opportunity or a turnover to the opposing team. The term fumble alone means to handle something clumsily or to lose grip. In everyday English, when someone says they fumbled the ball, it means they made a mistake or mishandled a situation. It's often used to describe a lost opportunity or failure to capitalize on an advantage. For instance, if someone forgets an important deadline, they could say, I really fumbled the ball on that project. Let's see how this phrase is used in real life scenarios. One, during the presentation, I fumbled the ball and forgot the key statistics. Two, she had a chance to impress the boss, but she fumbled the ball by coming late to the meeting. 3. I was leading the project well, but I fumbled the ball when I overlooked the client's feedback. There are variations of this phrase, such as, drop the ball, or let the ball slip, which carry similar meanings. These phrases are also common in English conversations and can be used interchangeably with fumble the ball. Interestingly, this phrase is often used in movies, TV shows, and sports commentary, highlighting its popularity in American culture. It's a phrase that resonates with the idea of human error and the importance of staying focused and careful. Fumble the ball is a great example of how sports language influences everyday English. It's a phrase that vividly describes a mistake or oversight in a relatable way. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use the phrase confidently in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more English language tips.